that there's one more step that we can do to make this really nice and comfortable for the patient. And that extra step is the use of Dammit. And Dammit is a great product. You see it right here. It comes from Danville Dental Products, which is really great products. And one of them, this one here, is like, it's almost like a ma thin masking tape. It's marked for us. We just cut it. And we place it across the back of the tray from one end to the other. Make a little notch with our knife at the middle of the pallet and fold it up. Very quick and easy. If you notice, if we were seating this tray in the mouth, the distal part where the dammit it is actually really captures the distal of those second molars really well so you have less likelihood of missing or getting bubbles or, or lines, uh, pull marks in the, in the distal portion of those second molars. It really captures that area much better. It helps to lock the distal material into the tray better. Uh, and one of the additional things that you can do too is you could take this dammit and you could wrap it if you wanted to around the outer edges of a triple tray and have nice walls to help hold the impression material in. Another time that you could use the dammit is just on your regular alginate study models. So if you just again take some out, put it on the back of your tray, you've already sized your tray, everything's fine. Put it across the back. Again, just like before, take your knife, notch it, and then just fold it up and around. So now again, you have your nice distal walls to capture this so the patient doesn't gag so much, it doesn't flow back so much. And now what's really nice is that you don't have to worry about the wax, this is just an alginate where you might have used the holy tray so it's got holes in it so that you can get more retention of the material when you take your impression uh, and still get good trapping of the distal, the second molars. Uh, I like to take some alginate on my finger, wipe it on the palate, wipe it into the occlusal surfaces before you seat your tray. One of the other things to help make this work most successfully is that when you do seat your tray, that you place it into the mouth with the mouth really nice and wide open and then seat straight up so that you're not, you know, kind of pushing it back into the mouth because if you tend to be pushing it back into the mouth, what sometimes happens is that the tape will catch the distal of those second molars and then it folds it over. So what you really want to do is get your, get your, make sure that your back all the way so that you can see it straight up into it and you'll end up with a much more accurate impression, whether it's alginate or a final impression for a crown or a bridge. Thank you. Hope you love it.